The first attempt by Perseverance to collect a rock core sample came up empty. So what happened? In the previous episode, Perseverance was parked on the oldest rocks yet explored in Jezero Crater, attempting to drill its first core sample. The coring tool worked great, but it didn't produce the expected finger-sized rock sample. The end-to-end -end sampling operation is completely autonomous, taking several hours with no humans in the loop. It starts with a drill bit loaded up with a sample tube. The core on the end of the robotic arm is a hammer drill, which uses both rotary and percussive motions for more efficient drilling. With the hollow bit cutting through the rock, a core is produced. Based on the view from the HASCAM, this operation looked like a total success, piling up rock cuttings as expected. But the view from MASCAM Z, downlinked hours later, told a different story. The drill bit was empty. The autonomous process continued with the robotic arm delivering the drill bit and sample tube to the bit carousel. This animation is greatly simplified, showing only the sample tube making its way through the system. A mini robotic arm called the Sample Handling Assembly, or SHA, takes over at this point. One of the first steps is to deliver the sample tube to the vision station. This is where a camera known as Cash Cam can get a look inside. This view taken during testing on Earth shows the LED lights of Cash Cam shining on the sample tube. Note that the second tube is just a reflection from an internal mirror. Cash Cam on Mars shot this image of the sample tube. Only the top is in focus for this fixed focus camera. The Shaw raises the tube in roughly centimeter increments designed to inspect a rock core anywhere inside. Only the bottom of the tube comes into focus, showing bits of the missing rock core. Efforts to figure out what happened to the core started the following saw with the arm-mounted Watson camera. Here's a quarter for scale. The camera's shadow made it hard to look inside the hole, so after sunset, Watson's LED lights were used. This gave a great view down the hole, showing that the core wasn't stuck inside. With the possibility that it fell out of the drill bit and rolled under the rover, Watson shot this set of images to take a look. Sort of a no stone unturned approach. But no runaway core is evident. Same with the view from Hascam. So what happened to the core? The explanation starts with Watson's view of the grind spot. As described in the previous episode, the multicolored look of this rock likely resulted from a history of water interaction. It's quite possible that the waters of ancient Lake Jezero percolated through this rock, altering its minerals and precipitating new ones. We know that on Earth, this can seriously weaken a rock. The view from MassCam Z shows a ring of coarse particles surrounding the fine powder in the cone of cuttings. The colors of this ring look notably similar to the grind spot. The close-up view from Watson shows gravelly gray and white bits of rock. It's very likely that these are the broken up rock core. The bedrock here probably is so altered by water that it was too weak to produce a core sample. Unfortunately, this scientifically fascinating rock will not be returned to Earth. This is an example of the uncertainties that can arise in Mars exploration. Perseverance has moved on now and will be on the lookout for another sampling opportunity.